Hey, what's up? Um, today's gonna be a generally pretty quick video regarding the um, 164 scale McLaren, what is it, 600 LT by LCD models. LCD models is right here. Um, and for those of you pretty much like myself, who don't really know about McLaren's lineup because they have like 500 different cars, quote unquote different cars. Uh, that's basically the same thing. They all look the same and they're all numbered instead of names. It's really hard to keep track. The uh, 600 LT is basically a high performance version, top of the line version of the McLaren 570S. Um, and the LCD models, um, they make some good stuff. They make this McLaren, obviously, and uh, they uh, they made the Pagani Waira, the Roadster, as well as Coupe versions. And they're coming out with um, uh, I think they already released a Waira BC, and they're also re releasing um, uh, some of the uh, Zonda models too. Why? Why aren't any company making like a regular old Zonda 12C or C12 C12, right? A, a, a regular Zonda C12. That would be great. But uh, this is actually a uh, properly licensed McLaren model. Again, uh, it's definitely better to be licensed. I don't really care if it's like. You know, they're not getting the money, but I guess McLaren isn't doing that hot, right? So I guess they could use the couple dollars they will get from this. Uh, just gonna get the base out of the way. This is pretty common for um, uh, those kind of like more model focused 164 die cast, McLaren 600 LT. This is actually a metal plaque, I guess you can call it. So that's pretty nice. Um, but to the main course itself, oh, obviously the acrylic covering doesn't really matter what we are interested in is the car itself right so uh what can i say about this, this is pretty i mean this is pretty much what you expect from something like this and uh, the price is not that expensive it's um uh let's see what, what would be a comparison it's definitely cheaper than atomic limited vintage uh, i got it for around i think 120 cny so less than 20 us dollars so this is a great price for what you get um yeah, and you can see carbon fiber on the uh, mirrors as well. Obviously, the uh, lights are lensed. Um, just gonna make sure it properly focuses. You can see the brake calipers from here, right on the right side, here, and on the left side at the back. Uh, more carbon fiber detailing. Please try to focus. The uh, the windscreens and the uh, side mirrors are really nice. Uh, really clear which which is again what you expect from um, something like this uh, really nice interiors uh, it's hard to see but like there's actually painted stuff I can I, I think you can make out like a kind of orange uh, tiny orange spot on the uh, steering wheel that's supposed to be there you can see the seats are sort of painted uh, the dashboard has some um, nice deco as well so that's all really nice again you can't really tell from the camera angle and all that but you can see it in real life uh, I think there's just a little bit of dirt. That's no biggie. Um, the exhaust coming from up here, right? And down here are the, um, 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 ah, what are they called? Uh, the, uh, shit. Diffusers. Yay. I still remember English. I'm going to be teaching. Uh, I mean, I have been teaching English and I'm actually going to be teaching English in a school in, um, less than a month. So I better uh, remember all of my English words. 600 LT, the backlights uh, aren't lens as far as I can tell. Or it's lensed, uh, but it's a uh, dark color. It's really, I can't be perfectly sure, but you see the 600 LT at the back. License plate, some uh, more detailing here. And uh, this bit is 100% painted. Um, as you can see, the uh, mirrors are actually uh, I think that's probably a sticker, right? A uh, reflective silver sticker. Um, yeah, uh, I do have one small, oh, and you can see the uh, McLaren logo on the uh, rims. That's really nice. One small, fairly small complaint I have is uh, this one, this right here. You can see it's very obvious. Uh, this piece should be aligned with this piece. The, uh, I guess you can call them like flying buttresses here. Uh, but it's obviously not aligned. It's it is aligned on this side. In addition, you can see a kind of a support here. I don't know if it's supposed to be here, but I would guess not because it really detracts from the look. So I'd assume it's not supposed to be here on the real thing, and it is here. But overall, uh, and overall, you can see um, 
underneath the paint application on the edges isn't that great but like again for the kind of price for the scale it's really good um yeah as you can see the base well here lcd uh this is the this is upside down lcd right here and the base is also kind of carbon fibery texture to it mclaren 600 lt 164 made in china uh and this whole thing as most of these uh, model stuff are um is actually uh, screwed instead of riveted, which is nice, but only has one screw, which is interesting. Most of these cars have two. Um, and uh, one of my friends asked me on Discord, right? And all he was asking about is whether the wheels can roll. And the answer is, well, this rolls, this rolls, but if you want to put it on a surface, uh, it rolls, but Barely, you, you, you see a lot of resistance. You can, but I wouldn't really recommend it. It's definitely not designed to do so. So 99% of the time, you'll either keep it in its original um, acrylic prison, if you will, or uh, just take it outside and put it in your own um, collection. Uh, one little, uh, a couple of collecting tips I would give for these uh, acrylic display models. One is um, keep a small packet of a silicon gel in it to prevent rashing, to keep it dry, nice and dry. It's really, really moist here, really um, humid. So I would absolutely recommend this. And also when you're screwing it, don't screw it too tight. This is okay because um, you can see that it's not super, uh, the design of it is pretty nice. So um, the wheels don't really touch it. Well, I mean, they really touch it, but like it's not pressed in here. This is pretty much just uh, low as I can go. You can see there's still quite a bit of space down here. <laughs> Some dust. Um, but yeah, when you do it, don't screw it too tight. Otherwise, the um, wheels will flat spot uh, due to your contact, especially if you keep it for too long. And in which case, Lewis, uh, bundle my tires are gone, will no longer be that funny. Uh, but yeah, that that's it. A relatively short video for the LCD 164 scale McLaren 600 LT. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you again. Goodbye.